want to explain what I did in a previous video with amplifying the usable output of a supply transformer, which could also be a generator. In this diagram, I show a generator on the one half of the bifiler coil. That's used as an induction coil. It's a shunt circuit for the generator. It's a free flowing loop on that half. And then the other half of the coil is used to drive the light. If I connected the generator direct to the light without the coil, only so much voltage and current would flow through that light and it would only get so bright. The free flowing current and the generator loop helps assist the voltage and current going through the light circuit on that half of the loop. In the video you can see I have the the voltmeter connected across both sides of the supply going to the light bulb. Looking at this diagram, I could see this bifiler coil having some benefits directly in a generator or outside of a generator. You put a lot of energy into a generator to get the electricity flowing, but using the bifiler coil with a free flowing loop in there, that energy, once we get it moving, is free to flow without a resistance. I wanted to show the difference of these two transformers. This one is a typical transformer we use today. It has the two coils wound next to each other. And those two coils are coupled together. The, the secondary can control the flow of the primary. In other words, if there's an open circuit in the secondary, almost all the current is choked off and won't flow in the primary. For this other transformer, one coil is wound over top of the other. And with that transformer, the secondary doesn't control the flow of the primary. You can have an open circuit in the secondary and all the current will flow in the primary. Probably wondering why I have the diodes on the bifiler secondary. I was using Tesla's patent to turn the AC into DC using the two halves of the bifiler coil with a diode on each. I'd be curious to see what kind of DC waveform that is, if it's pulse DC or closer to direct current. The other interesting thing on that patent, on the second page, his method of getting DC sure looks like Ed Lead Scallon's PMH. The multimeter is the uh, amps DC just on one light. And the amp meter here is the supply to the primary, the AC. Now on the DC side, the two lights, there's two separate DC circuits there. The two halves of the bifiler aren't connected together. But what I want to show is you have the two two separate DC circuits. But, you also have two separate AC circuits. And those two separate AC circuits, 
but you don't block the light here. They don't, they don't affect the DC circuits. They're not drawn down the lights on either of the DC. It's drawn on the primary, but it's not affecting the DC. So you have two AC and two DC circuits. There's several different ways of connecting the bifiler coil to get DC. This is probably the most beneficial way. The two diodes are both at the beginning of the coil and one facing the opposite of the other. And you can get DC off the very far ends and you can get AC just before the diode. The primary change in the current, the alternating current, one wire will go one way, one wire will go the other way and when they flip direction I believe it's an induction effect that fills the wave in the opposite wire. But I'm not too sure this is going to show up as a pulse DC. I have a feeling this is going to be a, more closer to a direct current. I don't have any way of testing this any further with the scope or anything to, to see exactly what's going on. But With using this coil in a generator with the diodes, that should give control over the polarity of the core, which I believe could make it self-running. I'm planning on doing some more experimenting on these coils. I'd be interested in hearing anyone's thoughts on this and how this could be applied or used any further, or if anyone has done some testing with this. I'd like to say thanks to everyone for sharing their ideas and research. We've all been taught energy can't be free, and many people believe it's not possible. There's a lot of things that were being done a century ago that we're not doing today. I think it's just a matter of putting all the pieces of the puzzle together.